Conversations, Conversations with, with S.D. Booker. Booker. Welcome to Conversations with S.D. Booker by way of a toast to the men with S.D. Booker. Man, today I got a special, special guest, special brother, man. He is a writer, a content creator, a poet, a speaker. You can find his first published workings, the highly acclaimed, the blood of my pen. You can find that book. I have the link in the bio in the description. You can also find his writings on medium.com. Listen, the talented brother, one of the most prolific writers I've come across, the brother, P.O.P. What's going what up, on? What up, what up, Hey, man, you good? Not, man. It's a blessing, man. It's a blessing to be here, SD. It's a blessing. Man, I'm honored that uh, you took the time out to come onto my platform, brother. It was, uh, it, it, was, it, was it was ready. It was time. So, uh, yes, yeah, to, to give some people some, some background information on, on our relationship, wow. uh, we came across each other on IG. And uh, right. you came across my, my book. I believe you came, I don't know if you came across my, my post or my book first or the YouTube. I mean, you, you, you tell the people what you came across first. Well, um, I came across your book first because I... Um, I watched um, Brother Soul, um, Soul Immortals page. Yes, sir. And um, he, he promoted your book, Heavy Man. And yeah. um, Salute Soul. I, I res- yeah, Salute Soul. I, I respect that brother. And, and his con- I've been watching his content for a couple of years. So when he, um, when he recommend a book, I get it. Okay. And most of, the, most of the books he's recommended, I have in my library. Wow. And when he recommended your book, I got it, and I'm, I'm gonna tell you something, man. Um, I, I I was not disappointed. It, it, it was uh, it, it was everything that I thought it was gonna be, and more. So that that that's uh, that, that's how I'm, um, and I was so excited about um, you, you know, just listening to like the, <laughs> the first couple of minutes. I started uh, um, reaching out to you, IG. I was so excited about it. Right. I start hitting you up right away. I remember that. So, I, yeah, I, I was in. I was into the book just one day, and I started hitting you up, and and uh, I, I started promoting it before I even finished. Wow, that's how good it was. Wow. So, man, man I thank you, yeah. brother. I thank you. Hey, shout out, You're welcome, Soul Immortal, my brother. Um, he's also the founder and and and, and moderator of uh the Power Circle. So, hey guys. Yes, Hey, join the power circle. That link is in the description also. Uh, but hey, man, a lot of gratitude and appreciation for Soul Immortal. Y'all check out his page. Um, yeah, brother, I remember um, you reaching out to me saying that you got the audio book and you saw me on Soul's platform. And yeah, you, yeah. you're right. You were you were given a, a review without even finishing the entire audio book. And uh Man, that just warmed my heart that, man, this, this brother is excited about it. He appreciates it. And uh, and I was like, man, this is, it was humbling. Uh, yeah. I, I started um, really wanting to find out more about you because during, during my YouTube videos, you would comment, you would get comments, but your comments would be long. <laughs> they they will be long, yeah. right? And yeah, I'm kind of extra. But, <laughs> but but this is the thing though, the what it wasn't any fluff. It was all relevant information and uh accurate and intentional information. It wasn't fluff, you wasn't you, you you were not babbling. And I was like, and you did that a couple of times, and I'm like, and that's how I write, that's how I give comments. And so I was like, man, some something's up with this brother. Uh and then you reveal, okay. yeah. No, no, I said, then you reveal you're a writer. I said, okay, okay, that 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 makes sense because this is how I, <laughs> I deliver comments, and it makes sense. Like I can't just give a one liner or a two liner. I have to give the full spectrum of what I'm thinking. And it's like, I'm like yeah. yeah, yeah. This brother's a true writer, man. And uh, man, I, <laughs> I I write sometimes, man. I have to edit myself because 
Right. I mean, I'll be writing articles and books in the comments, man. You know what I mean? It, it just yeah. keep flowing and flowing. And, right. you know, sometimes I, I have to edit myself because it, it'll be forever. Yeah. <laughs> you you yeah. know? I get it, man. That's that's just the way you're wired. So I, I totally get Perfect. it. Uh, I appreciate it, man. And uh, I appreciate the support, brother. Uh, once we really connected and start building building a rapport, you uh, mm -hmm. start sending me links to your workings. And uh, man, I started reading a lot of your work. And I was like, man, this brother is a, a prolific, uh, gifted writer. Uh, I'm very, and like I told you before, I'm very picky about what I will spend my time uh, listening to or, or reading or, or uh, watching. Uh, I like content. I like, well, I like substance. Content that has substance. And yeah, some, some meat and potatoes. Absolutely. And I don't like a lot of fluff. As you should. Yeah, yeah. So that's how, you know, that's how I choose my music. That's how I choose what I read, what I listen to, what I watch. It has to have something. Me as well. And your your That's writing right. definitely has that, man. I, I like the way you structure your words you. and sentences. Yeah, man, you're gifted, brother. So thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. No doubt, man. So POP. I know the people are wondering. That's right. What is POP? Who is POP? Although you know, I I gave you a description, uh, a few titles, adjectives. How do you describe yourself? And where did the the name POP come from? All right. Um, number one, POP comes from, POP is an acronym for Poet of Pain. Um, in, my, um, in my poet days, well, I, I'm still a poet, but um, I used to be a part of a poetry um, like network called the Black Poetry Cafe. So, um, you know, you know, everybody has their usernames and my username is Poet of Pain. I mean, I, you know, I was, before I, um, I joined that group, um, Poet of Pain came from, that was my rap name because I was a, um, I, I was an MC that had more of a um, poet edge to me. You know, you know I, I mixed rapper and poet together. I was uh, like a hybrid of both of them. So, um, you, know, when, you know, when I joined um, the Black Poetry Cafe, um, my username was Poet of Pain, and all the clever poets, they, you, know, you know how our people are, man. Right. Our people love nicknames. Right. They gave me, they gave me the nickname Pot. I was like, wow, I, I, I mean, I love that, you know? And they called me Pop, and I turned Pop into P-O-P. Wow. And that's, that's history. That's, that, yeah. that, that's where the name came from. And, um, <laughs> And far as who I, who I am, like, wow, that, that's a very uh, layered question. I mean, it, you know where you want to start. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm a lot of things, bro. Hey, man, like, like I, like I, um, I ask people uh, to come onto the platform if, uh, if, if an alien was to drop down now, right now, and you were the first person uh, they they ran into, and they asked you, "Who are you? Like, how would you describe yourself?" I like the way you put that. I like that. I like that. <laughs> you know what? If I had to summarize myself right now, I am I am a storyteller. I'm a I'm a storyteller that uses like multiple tools to tell a story. Whether it's um, whether it's poetry, whether it's photography, whether it's music, whether it's film, uh, I do um, short films with my music too. Um, I, I've realized that my gift is telling the story, and it's not limited to to writing. You know, I mean, um, my journey started like with writing and. Uh, and, um, and art, but I noticed every genre that I went to, it, it was the same vibe because you know when I went to music and start producing and producing albums, like the way I would structure the albums, I would structure everybody albums like a like a movie, mm. and I'm like, wow. I, I wondered like why did I didn't understand why 
I would produce everybody like you know all of the the track lists right. had to be cohesive in like a story and that's how I produced like all all of the albums and it took me years to realize like wow you know what I'm doing the same thing across all of these genres all these gifts God gave me it all comes down to telling a story that's and that's what I I'm a storyteller that's it that's it and, that's, that's what you're hearing and, and my and I'm a storyteller uh and my story is still being told and evolving every day and I'm growing every day I'm telling my story every day wow yeah. man. that's beautiful man um uh, thank you that's what you're here for and I, I say that about myself I'm here to tell stories my story but also the stories of others also and I'll tell you what's what's so what's so ironic uh people about a, I guess about 30 45 minutes ago you and I were chopping it up and uh, mm-hmm. just touching base uh, before before we came on and I'm listening to you talk people I'm telling you I'm listening to my brother talk I'm listening I'm listening and I asked man what, what's your zodiac sign man <laughs> and uh he's like I'm on the cusp of Gemini and cancer and mm-hmm. I'm June he's like I'm June 21st and I'm like, wow, man, I'm on the cusp. I'm June 22nd. I'm telling you, no lie, this actually went down. But I knew while listening to him, there were so many similarities. And, you know, the brother just so creative. And, and that's who I am at, at heart and soul as a creator and a, a storyteller, right. man. So, uh, man, there's no accidents. It's not an accident that we're here right now. Not here. at all. Not at all, man. Everything, uh, you know, we've encountered uh, has brought us to this point, brother. Uh, yeah. Now, you were raised in, in Baltimore, in the Baltimore area? Yeah, Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah. Man, yeah. so uh, the only thing, man, I, I know about Baltimore, man, I, I want to say, uh, I want to say, is it crab cakes or just seafood in general? <laughs> And uh, yeah, the, yeah. The, the wire. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah we're we, we known for we're known for crab cakes, and we're known for the wire. They they the two biggest things that we're known for. But uh, like we, uh, this is the home of the crab. You know, people from all around the world come here for for, mm-hmm. for the crabs and crab cakes. But uh, and and the wire is known all over the world. Yeah, so. yeah. And now you guys have uh, Javante Davis, man. Uh, the champion, oh yeah, champion boxer, man, he's doing this thing. Man. Oh yeah. So, doing so, uh, how, how's the scene out there, man? As a creator, uh, as a young creator, when you're a young guy, man, creating and, and just trying to be artistic, how's the scene out there? Um. Well, um, I've been here all of my life, and I, I tell you, I mean, this, I mean, it. This is a. Uh, this is a very uh, artistic and creative like city. I mean, I mean, uh, you know, when you think of the people that come out of here, I mean, think of uh, Jada Pinkett, um, Drew Hill comes from here. You know, it, it's it's. Uh, I mean, it's a lot of um, it's a lot of creativity here. You know, like um, even too you know, looking at the pop. Yeah, yeah. What what actually t- Tupac lived here. Uh, Tupac is from uh, was born in New York. Right. He came uh, uh, he came here and um uh went to the school of the arts here like around the same time I was in high school um like you know l- late 80s he's a, a couple years older than me but um he went to high school at the school of the arts with Jada and with uh, an, um another girl that I I went to uh, that lived in my neighborhood and and that girl uh I don't know if you, uh, do, do you remember the movie Poetic Justice? Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, well, it, it was it, it was a girl that played his uh, baby mother in the beginning that he was fussing with. I grew up with that uh, that that young lady. Uh yeah, yeah, that uh, yeah, Tone Tone Lope. She had a baby by Pac and Tone Lope. Oh okay. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, they beat the guy up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, I grew up. See, I, I lost my. Um, I guess I can still hear you. 
you can still hear me. I, I lost my video. Okay. Uh -huh. That's it's okay. My video. Yeah, I, I'll get back up in here. There you go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there you go. But uh, yeah, um, so uh, like yeah, it's a, a lot of it, it, it's a lot more. Of course, you know we have uh, we have the Ravens. You know, just like you said, uh, Javante Tank. Yeah. But um, you know, uh, you know, growing up here, man, it's you know, it's, it's, uh very creative vibe man you know um you know mainly music okay. you know um my, uh, the writing comes from my um more my father's side and the music comes from my mother's side of the family this is a, this is a very musical like city okay. you know I, I, for some reason like hip-hop you, you know like the rappers haven't really made a made it big or strong and back in the right. and we have and we have there's a lot of legendary rappers here that never made it but for some reason like the r b is what really blew up right. in baltimore like drew hill and you know like they're, they're the biggest ones but uh but uh like i mean it's you know it's, it's a creative place i mean of course, I mean everybody know about Baltimore. It's a, a, a lot of a lot of pain and negativity here right. too. But you know, people focus on that enough. I, I don't need to go into that anymore. You know, okay. everybody know everybody know what it is. Just look at the why. You know what time it is. You know? Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, but but it, it definitely uh, it definitely inspired you. You know, and, and cultivated you as a as an art artist and uh, as a creator. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm in Dallas, yeah. and uh, I don't think uh, I don't think we have the uh, artistic uh, influence or impact as a Baltimore. You know, um, yeah. So I always like to hear. Seem like, it, 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 seem like you, you guys have like a, a lot of business masterminds. There, right. it, 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 like it seems like the, the business is very. It, yeah. it, you guys have a strong business vibration then? Oh well, yeah, definitely. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, very, very uh uh techie industry, business minded mm. uh influence industry. Yeah. So yeah, it's this is not a I, I guess uh an artistic um uh I would say either state or region, man. So yeah. But yeah, I, I gotta make my way up there, man, up up, up to Baltimore. Um now, man. Your, your your book, um, the blood of my pen. That's the first published work, correct? The first and only. First and only. But you got some stuff. You but got it, some stuff on the table. Yeah. And so. Oh, oh, absolutely. No, no doubt. So, what inspired that? What was the what was the thing? Because I know my moment that prompted me to write a toast to the men. What was your moment that said, "Man, I got to get this out." Well, I'll tell you. Um, well, first, uh, you know, I had already uh, started writing poetry. I already started writing poetry online. This is like probably around 04. And um, I started writing poetry in, in a form. And, um, you know, I started getting um, a nice little buzz, getting a lot of compliments and, you know, ladies was loving it. I'm like, I mean, I, I, I just wasn't used to getting praise like that. I mean, I was really, you know, they really were showing me love. It's the first time that I've been shown love in a, you know, from anything that I created before. So it was like, wow. Ah. And, um, you know, and, and, and that was the fuel for me to keep writing. They was, they were showing a lot of love. So I kept, that was my fuel to keep writing. I'm, you know, the, the, you know, I was writing, writing, and writing, and getting better and better, whatever. But um, the pivotal moment for me was, you know, like I told you, my um, uh, my aunt um, is an English teacher. My aunt Sandra is an English teacher, and um, and an author. You know, the, 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 the only one on that side of the family. I really, I think, the only one in my family. Period. That's an author and wrote a book. And we were at. Um, my little sister's graduation and her and I was just having a regular conversation like you and I are having 
and um, I don't know how the topic came up, but um, I, I told her I was like, uh, like yeah, I've been um, I've been writing poetry, and you know it's going well, and um, I have like thirty poems. She was like, uh, oh, you got thirty poems? Okay, okay, you can write a book. Just that nonchalant, and that sense. Well, yeah, you can write a book. I'm like, I can write a what? <laughs> a who? Right. Write a book. <laughs> She said it that simple. She said, yeah. yeah, you can write a book. Yeah, you got enough to write a book. And that was history. Mm. And like after that, I, I took it seriously. I mean, being that I was already, you know, in the network of right. uh, you know, writers that, that had like different connections. And um that's when while writing in this um this poetry form. I saw that it was a self-publishing um, like site called Lulu. Now, keep in mind, this is 04. Like, self-publishing a book for just like a regular person was, um, you know, it, it was beyond a lot of people's imagination. Everybody that was an author at that time was like somebody, you know, you had to get a publishing deal. Like, like right. 04 and 05 self-publishing. A lot of people didn't know about it. So, right. you know, when I found that site and, and found that like, I can publish a book, you know, it, it just, just, it just seemed so beyond me. Right. And, um, you know, she, she taught me how to format. She taught me how to put all of my poems into Microsoft Word. She, she taught me how to um, do the page numbers. Like, like she taught me all the technical stuff. And with Lulu, they walk you right through it. You know, once you know, once you have your manuscript ready, you know, and you edit it, they convert it over to PDF, step by step, print on demand. You can print one, you can print two, five. And, and this was just unheard of for this time. You know, it, it was, it it, it was, it, it was crazy. Like so, like uh, fast forwarding, when I actually like published the book. Like I, I published a book in, in you know, uh, I could print out uh, as many as I want to, to, you know, to sell the family, sell the friends or whatever. But I also had a, a, a website I could sell it off. Now, selling a book and selling anything online in 04, like 05 was like, you say you had a book like online, people look at you like you're crazy. Right. Like yeah. that, that, was, that, 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 just, that, just, that didn't compute to a lot of people. Right. Like when I told people like, oh yeah, I have my book online. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna need that in hand. Like, you know, they, they, they didn't understand. First of all, people were, um, people were afraid to even buy anything online at that time. Right. People, this was, people were still paranoid to buy yeah. things online. I was and, one of those and you people. look at, you, you look at where, um, Look where we can. We do all our shopping online now. Right, right. And so, just looking back on that, to, to, to sum that up, um, I even had, you know, I was even able to convert it to an ebook. Mm. And to be honest with you, man, I think I had an ebook before Kindle. Kindles came out. No mm. smartphones weren't out yet. Kindles weren't out yet. Mm. Right. So, so if I if I say really? ebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I say ebook 05, 04, 05, it was like I was talking Chinese or something. So that was early. Wow. That was early. Man, so you know that's that's been a recurring theme in, in your life, man. Even with the music as a rapper, you were you were a conscious, we'll say a conscious rapper before Absolutely. that the conscious rapper was being accepted. And then we, yeah. we fast forward. And, until you uh, publishing, self-publishing your book, I mean, you got the ebook, and people are not even really online. I, I know I wasn't online on my phone. Only time I really got online was when I went to work. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, they had to force me uh, away from the flip phone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they just like they were like, yeah. man, we don't even make, we don't even make these charges for this phone anymore, man. So <laughs> they, yeah, they they forced me. Um, but man, I, I was reading. Well, I've been reading a few of your, your writings on medium.com. My brother has a mm -hmm. link. My brother has a link on medium.com. That's going to be in the description, people. 
And man, I just got to get get your your perspective or get or or or, or pick your brain about okay. the concept and the thought process behind these a couple of these writings, man. The first one, all right. Head in the clouds and one foot on the ground. What what what, what was that? What what uh motivated that writing? Well, that's uh, that's um that's actually a, a that's actually an older one. Um, and I, I'm glad you brought that up. That that's one that I actually need to um I, I need to get over there. Okay. But um yeah, that's that. This was one we talked about. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No. Head in the clouds, one foot on the ground. Wow. You know, like what? You know what? What was I thinking when I came up with that? You know, I think that piece was more about balance. Mm. Now, um, you, you know, I forgot what I actually. You know, I, I, I'm I, I'm a, I'm gonna pull that piece up again and and, and get into it. But what I do remember is. I, I was just thinking of, of, of balance, you know, because um, I'm a dreamer, you know, my head is, my head is always in the clouds, you know, but um, yeah, every helium balloon needs a, needs an anchor, need to be tied down or you, 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 you know, you, you know what, um, you know what a helium balloon does. Yep. I mean, it flo floats up in the clouds and, and it's gone, you know, so. That was just me um, needing balance, you know, like, and, and you know what, now, now that I, I think of that, it, that that title has a new meaning to me, like right now that I, ju I just thought of, like what that, what that phrase and that title means for me today in 2021 is that I'm a dreamer with endless ideas, but the, the one thing that I, I need to get better at is execution. Mm. You know, like, like you know, I, I have all these ideas, but I need to uh, get focused and organized and get them done. Right. And and one of the things that I started to do to uh, um, to get better at, to get better at that was um, um, getting dry erase boards. You know, I, I got some dry erase boards, and I actually. Um, I wrote all the important things that I want to get done, like like uh, six or seven um, like tasks. And every time I get one done, I check them off. But I'm not going to erase the board to all of them done. Because I, I like right now I have two out of seven done, and I won't erase it and go on to the next task. So I have everything on there completed. And you you don't understand what that does for somebody like me that's, that's all over the place. Right. I'm an all over the place creative that um that um um that, that needs structure. So head in the clouds, one foot on the ground is me being balanced. Mm -hmm. You know, me me coming up with all ideas and me um um executing them. That's probably why um you know they say opposite opposites attract. Right. As far as uh, uh, relationship wise, I'm probably great with a, a, a woman that's an executor that, that that gets it done because I come up with all the ideas, but but um, I need to be with somebody that gets it done, and right. that's the perfect balance. No, no, so no. I'm the head. Of, I'm the head. I'm the head in the clouds, and she's the foot on the ground. Hey, I dig it. I dig it, man. And man, that uh, that statement alone has so many layers, and I agree with you. I'm a creator too, and so I can I can come up with ideals easily every day. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. But I have to be cognizant and conscious that let me let me set myself sit myself down and get to work on this and manifest this ideal, you know, bring it into reality. And right. uh, and this is one of the things that keeps us it keeps us humble because right. we are. To create, we are forced, all of us are forced to collaborate with other people, right? So you may right. have someone that's a, a down-to-earth person, 
that uh, can execute, but they don't have the mind to come up with ideals or or yeah. you know, creative ideals. That's just not how they're wired. But right. they're, they're on the ground person that can get it done and complete tasks. And so uh, we, we balance each other in this world. And uh, that's what it's all about right. within ourselves, uh, within the universe, with each other. It's about balance, man. That's, that's essential. Yeah, man. Yeah, It's all about, uh, it's all about knowing uh, what your strength is, you know, like, you know, everybody's not, um, you know, everybody's not strong at, at the, the same thing, you know, right. you right. know, like uh, um, just doing a video interview like this, um, like video and like video interviews hasn't been, hasn't always been, hasn't really been my strength because I don't do much of them. You right. know, I, I've always been more of a behind the scenes person. And, you know, yeah, you know, I, I was, I was producing albums for like 13 years. So it's easy to get comfortable being behind the scenes when, you know, because a producer is a behind the scenes person and yeah. it's easy to get comfortable in that lane. And, um, you know, when I uh, transition out of producing and start writing again, like, um, it's like, I'm, I'm the lead singer again, when you write, because, you know, I, I'm, I'm putting myself out there and um, I'm totally vulnerable when I write that, that writing, that's me, you know, it's like I said, I'm, I'm the lead singer when it comes to like writing. So, yeah. But, but this is a good thing because it's taking you out of your comfort zone. It's making you challenge. You. Yeah, it's making you challenge yourself, and uh, it's making you a more rounded person. And uh, you know, yeah. this isn't this isn't something that people uh, would expect me to do. That grew up with me. Uh, mm -hmm. This is not something they expect me to do. Uh, my wife was shocked when I said I'm going to create a YouTube channel uh, about well about really? three years ago. Yeah, I'm, I'm a I'm a laid back cat, man. Uh, you know, I'm a writer. I'm behind the scenes. I'm a thinker. I don't like the limelight. Mm -hmm. I don't like, you know, I don't like to be out front all the time. Uh, but it, it was needed and it was a calling uh, that was pulling at me. So I had to be obedient to it, you know. Um, yeah. Yeah. I don't I don't want to have to come back and have to redo this in the next life, man. So let me let me go and knock this yeah. out. Now. <laughs> yeah. Let me I, go mean, it, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's, it's, it's really interesting that uh, like uh, you know, we, when you talk about uh, comfort zone, like the, the fact it, it's weird that like doing a video interview is out of my comfort zone. But the funny thing about that is like, um, I've performed on stage before and I, I remember turning to a whole different person. Like mm -hmm. I, I remember not being afraid of the line. I, I was like, you know, I was all up in the front and just like turn into a, turned into like right. a whole nother entity you right. know so it, right. it, it's weird that like when it comes to video and stuff like i, I get all shy and right. pro probably because having that producer mind um you know I'm, I, I don't know <laughs> well well I, when you when things you think, gotta be perfect no nah, no nah, I, I think that's normal actually uh when you when you look at it look at some of the the more popular artists we've seen uh prince michael uh we take beyonce we could take jay-z uh jay-z mm -hmm. has gotten more comfortable now uh but yeah these people seem awkward and uncomfortable a lot of times in interviews but they I could, know I yeah, it. but they could get on stage and perform in front of hundreds of thousands of millions of people. But yep. when you get they the channel, they yeah, when you get them one on one, giving an interview wasn't a natural thing for them. Um, yeah, not at all. Yeah, so I get not it. at all. Yeah, I, I totally get I, it. I, I get it too. Like, you know how they they're able to like turn into a whole another character like on right. stage. But I, I think it's public speaking, you know, like, mm. you know, because, it, it, you know, as it, much poetry that I do, like, and you know what, I, what it is, like, when I performed, you know, I felt more comfortable performing with a live band or music. I never liked spoken word. I never liked being up there, just me and the mic and right. reciting spoken word. I never liked that, but put on a beat and, 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 
and, and had me performing with a live band, you, you'll see a whole different person come out of me. You know, I mean, I, you know, um, that 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 energy from the music, like, you, you know, we be in synergy. You know, it's, it's something about something about a live band, something about a, a, a music and, and performing. It was just a, it, it was different. You know, but public speaking, eh, forget about it. This <laughs> is like, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey. that, that, definitely a weakness. Hey, that's okay. That's okay, man. Um, but hey, you're here now, so I appreciate you, brother. Now, yeah. the, the second, the second uh, writing, "Phantoms of the Past, Shadows of the Future." Man, I thought that that was a beautiful title uh, and a, 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 a mystique to it. Yeah, what what's behind that? Well, that one that and that, that's a more recent one. Like um the concept of that one, um I have a song called Thoughts to Paper that um uh I, I wrote in like 07, 08. And um had a revelation about like the a verse that I wrote, you know, like all these years later I had I had a revelation, like um uh, when I wrote the verse, um, I was going through a, like a tough time, you know, I mean, um, it, you know, financially, I, I was going through a rough time and I, you know, I was writing in real time about those things I was going through. I was in a relationship at the time and, um, you know, I, you know, I remember like uh, writing everything that was going on. You know, I mean, if you, if you read that that the, that that one part, you know, when I said in, in the wake of my lessons, I got a story to tell. I write my visions of my heaven in the middle of hell. If you read that part, I'm right. I, I'm writing actually what's going on in that moment. And um, to make a long story short, the the revelation was like, you know, when I wrote that 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 verse was actually my future. Mm. That, that that verse I, I actually wrote my future like like the things that I wrote and the emotion that I wrote in that verse and the the desolation and the isolation that I felt in that that verse that actually happened to me like uh probably well, maybe eight years later so 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 literally that that article was about getting the revelation of like um, I wrote a song that was prophetic. Mm. You know, I, I, I wrote um, the whole song was was the future. Everything that I wrote in that song, I'm thinking that it, it was about the past, but it actually was about the future because like what I went through at that time of writing that verse was nothing compared to what was coming. Mm. So, phantoms of the past, shadows of the future. So everything I explain, that title makes sense now. Right, right. Wow, wow. Well, that's heavy. <laughs> that's heavy. And and I'm thinking about my own life. Yeah, that's happened to me before. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, man. That's that's heavy, man. Um, what you got going on now? What's 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 on the uh, horizon right now? Right now, um, I just been um, I've been doing a lot of writing. I mean, um, um, my um, my writing career actually was resurrected last year, twenty twenty, um, so June twenty twenty. Like, um, okay, I hadn't like most of the twenty tens hadn't. I really didn't like write that much. I was um. You know, I was known as producer. I was known all across the all across the country producing. I was um, I was known as a, um, a, a spoken word and music like producer. Like, I uh, you know I um, I produced a lot of poets. So um, really, that that really took up my whole decade. I wasn't out really. I was barely writing anything. And um, like I said, when I um, when I transitioned from that, you know, I, I was. You know, I I just wasn't passionate about like working on other people's projects anymore. It's like, you know, I, I was hungry to come back to the artists again. So, um, you know, um, 
I, I joined Medium in um, June 2020. Yeah, and did did just um, you, you know when it, when it comes to writing, like I think I took my gift for writing for granted. You know, um, when I when I started writing on Medium, it might be the first time in my life that um, I started enjoying enjoying writing. I, I I never really knew that I had a gift for writing. I just did it, you know. Just came but, um, yeah. Yeah, it's like, but like when, when I when I started writing on there, like like a year ago, it's like the, the, I really felt the love for it, you know, like. You know, because it's just pouring out at me, but um, I, but to answer your question, as far as what I got, I, I'm you know I'm just writing, um, um, plotting and planning a lot of things on the, um, the on the writing side. Um, I'm planning on um, I, ha I have a brand called The Sound of a Writer, and basically, uh, The Sound of a Writer is me meshing like uh, my production with the writing. So everything that you're reading on Medium, um, a lot of that stuff, I'm going to turn over into audio and, and, and put it with, um, you know, put it with music. So, you know, I'm combining two, you know, two of the genres, you know, um, and I'm going to keep writing articles. I, I have some plans on, um, um, have some plans on like getting back into like doing a book again, like one book that I'm really excited that I, I want to do, it, it, it's a, a book, um, I already did the autobiography of my life and the blood of my pen, like in one section of my life, right. but I really want to write a book about my experience with, with music because man, I, I have a lot of experience, a lot of experiences with, with music that can fill up a book. And um, um, that's going to be one. And um, and then I have a, a, another one that that I want to write about my experiences. Um, you know, over the last year I've been journaling. Um, I started walking. Um, probably at the end of the year I joined the five hundred mile challenge, and um, you know, walking really opened up a new door. It opened up a new frequency, and like. Like we were talking about earlier, man. Like right. walking is really meditation, man. It and is. And when 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 I when I started, I take these walks, man. It's like I take in everything, you know, that's going on in the atmosphere. And it's like a lot of the pieces that I wrote that that are based on on on, on walking, I wrote while I was walking. I, I, I write and channel it and and write it when I come back on. It's like I can't wait to get back. To, to write everything that I experienced. Yes. And it's not that I, it's not necessarily that I'm, I'm writing about, you know, what's going on. Like, you know, some people walk through nature and, and you know, like, oh, write about the stream and the trees and, and the it's not necessarily like uh, me writing. I'm, I'm just walking in my neighborhood. Like, I can't explain it. It, it yeah. so, something, something opens when I'm walking. It's, yeah. it, 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 it's a, it's a spiritual connection no that, doubt. that I tap into when I'm walking, and um, and and it's it's really opened me up creatively. You know, I actually once I start uh, walking, I start writing more. Yeah. I start getting more epiphanies. I start getting more revelations. So, um, like yeah, man. I, um, so writing, you know, I, I'm I'm trying to put it all together in POP presents and. POP, P, POP presents is um, is the umbrella and everything under it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Just yeah. <clears throat> yeah. When you walk, I just want to wake. I just want to wake. I just want to wake and create. <laughs> yeah, I that's mean, the goal. Yeah, man. When you walk, uh, people need to understand this. When you walk uh, outside amongst nature, uh, not on the treadmill inside. When you walk outside, uh, your third eye is open, and what it is, man. Mm. You're, you're alone with your higher self. Uh, you're, right. you're, you're, you're walking, you're walking with God, you know, and that's what that is, man. And uh, it is, yeah, it you, is. I mean, it's, it's real, man. Your third eyes open, you're outside amongst nature. You're walking with God. 
<clears throat> I mean, I go look at Genesis. This is what this is what Adam was doing, man. He was walking with God alone to himself, his and inner the, self, his and higher the cool self. Of the, yes. Uh, yes. In the cool of the day. In the cool <laughs> of the day. And that's what you're doing. And that's this is why all these ideals are just coming out of you. And you're able to go back in into the lab and and, and, and write this stuff down, man. That's why. Yeah. 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 People need and to I know said that. The, Absolutely. And I said the cool of the day. I, I said that on, on purpose. One of the pieces that I'm, I'm writing about my outdoor and right uh, and my outdoor and walking experience is called the cool of the day. Like you, you, you'll see it in there when you when you go exploring there. Like I think I think I saw that on Medium. The, the, yeah, 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 I, yeah, yeah. I saw that. I, I saw that. I saw that on Medium uh, and your link on Medium. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. You're, you're right on point with it, man. And and people need to really uh, dive into that, man. Be alone, be alone yeah. with your higher self, with God in the cool of the day, man. Get out. In the cool of the day. Something yeah. in the atmosphere, man. You know what I mean? And, and, and we were talking about zodiac signs, man. Yeah. Uh, and you know, um, you know, I found I was talking to a friend of mine about zodiac signs. You know how they say zodiac sign, that the water sign, the, the yeah. air sign, the fire sign. Right. Well, I found Gem Gemini is an uh, air sign. Correct. And and, and I, I thought about it like, I was like, wow, that really makes a lot of sense because the connection I have when I walk in is always with the atmosphere. I, you know, I, I've always been um, a cloud watcher. Mm -hmm. You know, I know all the different types of clouds. Oh, you really? know what I mean? Wow. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I did Cirrus, stratocumulus, cumulus, you know, cumulonimbulus. I, uh, you, you see, I, I I just named them out that quick, but actually, um, actually yeah. let, me, let me pause you real quick. Actually, uh, you wrote about a cloud in one of your writings. Man, what was the name of that man? Um, straddle, straddle, uh, the shadows of a stratocumulus morning. Yeah, yeah. I was like, man, did he make this up? <laughs> and I meant to, <laughs> I, I meant to, I meant to Google it. I was like, man, I've never seen this word, but uh. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Stra stra stratocumulus is, is, is a is a form of cloud that's like way up in the atmosphere. Mm. That uh, you, you, you know the the the, uh, the the popular cloud the popular clouds that everybody knows are the fluffy ones. They're called cumulus clouds. Stratocumulus. You know, you heard stratosphere before. Yeah. Stratocumulus is the one way up in the atmosphere. And um, I, I have the picture in the article. So like the that that uh. The profile picture are stratocumulus clouds. So, wow. Hey, I mean, I learned something. I learned something, uh, and I wanted to go back and, and dive into that writing. Uh, it just it caught my eye. Yeah, man. But um, uh, man. So again, man, I won't hold you long, man. We we wrapping it up. Um, you know, to keep it, yeah, man. to keep it under that radar. So it, it, you know, so it 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 meet. The requirements to upload but uh i wish we can go on and on we'll definitely do this again and i'll come onto your platform if you send me an invite I, i'm there man um okay can you leave the people with with a nugget or a couple of nuggets of wisdom before we depart well you, you know what it, it was something that uh it, it was a quote of mine that i was going to say earlier like uh, when you were talking about like um, um, how nothing happens, um, well, not nothing, how everything happens for a reason, how you and I are connected, you yeah. know, and, it, and it's, a, it, it's, a, it's a quote um, that, you know, that, uh, that I say about um, um, being divinely orchestrated. And I say that we're all, all meaning humans, we're all, we all, um, all of us are instruments in the in the divine orchestra. That's what this life is. It's like you know, you know, we're in the rhythm of life, yes. and we're all instruments. We're all instruments. We're all vessels in this divine orchestra. So, hey, hey, man, perfectly stated, man. I thank you again, brother, for coming on. And this you. was great. This was uh, this is what this was informative, and uh, educational and inspiring. But brother, I thank you. I thank you, man. Thank you.
We'll definitely be in touch, bro. All right. Absolutely. Man. All right, man. Peace.